Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick coming to you this week from the 16 Tech Innovation District on the near northwest side of downtown Indianapolis. In fact, uh, you can see the skyline here. We're about two miles northwest of Monument Circle. This 50 acre innovation district had been really talked about for decades rather slow to develop for a variety of, of reasons, but that is changing in a big way. 16 Tech now includes some 200 companies with 1,000 employees. A mix of innovation, research, and co-working space here. By 2030, it is projected that 16 Tech will include more than 3 million square feet of office, lab, retail, and residential space, and will be home to more than 3,000 jobs. And this week, major news for Indiana University, Indianapolis, that will have an impact on 16 Tech and beyond. Indiana University is launching an initiative so transformative that it will change the very landscape of our capital city and state. IU Indianapolis has been designated an R1 institution by the Carnegie Foundation, putting IU's Indianapolis campus among the elite research institutions in the nation. A designation validating a bold move by IU to create what President Pam Witten calls the nation's premier urban research institution, stretching from an emerging SciTech corridor on the Indy campus to the planned IU Launch Accelerator for Biosciences, or IU Lab at the 16 Tech Innovation District. We've said all along we want to be the best urban research university in the country, and the next step is uh, having the whole country know that indeed we are a research institution at the highest level. With this new classification, uh, now we're actually able to put, to put our brand on that. To support that lofty vision, IU is investing more than a quarter of a billion dollars in a biosciences mm -hmm. initiative aimed at making the state a global leader in cutting edge research and innovation and a magnet for top talent. We now have in Indianapolis the university that we need to really propel the city and the state forward. And, you know, we are so fortunate. We, are, we have a, a wealth of riches in terms of universities in our state, right? I mean, we have a, an R1 university in Bloomington, Indiana uh, through IU. We have an R1 university housed in West Lafayette through Purdue. We have an R1 university in South Bend uh, through Notre Dame. And now we have the first and only R1 university in Indianapolis. And this is a gateway for partnership with industry. This is a gateway to bring in um, just world-class faculty that want to work at an R1 institution. And then, of course, it's also an entry point to bring just exceptional students in who want to work. And our goal is then stay in Indianapolis after they graduate from IU. And the vision extends beyond the Indianapolis campus and 16 Tech. We are talking and working on a corridor from Crane to Bloomington that's happening right now with the expanded work going on there. We are certainly talking now about uh, the corridor that will expand from Bloomington to Indianapolis to, to this new base. Obviously, there's work from Indianapolis North as well. And so truly, the, the future for our state of Indiana is very exciting. And as President Witten mentioned, the new IU lab scheduled to open if all goes well in 2027. That is a bird's eye view of the 16 Tech Innovation District uh, here on the near northwest side of downtown Indianapolis. The Lilly Endowment putting more air under 16 Tech's wings with a $138 million grant to Indiana University to build the state-of-the-art bioscience hub we talked about at the top of the show. And the man in charge at IU Lab is former Indiana Secretary of Commerce David Rosenberg, the president and CEO of uh, IU Lab. David, uh, thanks as always. You can't get away from me, but I it's know, always fun to join you. I know, you. Yeah. A, a very different role now and a very important role. Uh, first of all, the R1 designation for IU Indianapolis, how important is that? It's huge, not only from the aspect of additional funding opportunities that it opens up, but also that marketing perspective for students, researchers, faculty, and industry alike. Yeah, and I know uh, President Witten uh, talked about in our first segment uh, creating this uh, this preeminent urban research institution, and that's uh, a big part of what you'll be doing. Absolutely. We really want to be the front door for where academia meets industry to really have a sandbox for all the incredible assets. It's really the right time, the right place, the right corridor where we really can find that next discovery, commercialize that next product, and train the life science leaders of the future. There's going to be a lot going on in this building. Give us an idea, kind of a thumbnail sketch of all of the activity that once this thing opens, we'll be seeing. Yeah, thanks to the really generous gift of $138 million from the Lilly Endowment, we're going to build a facility here on 16 Tech's campus that will have academic space, classrooms, Luddy School of Informatics, and their BMEI program will be housed here, along with School of Medicine, Kelly School of Sciences. 
We'll also tie into the incredible world-class researchers and faculty from IU and those schools to develop the research that's gonna happen into industry. We'll have an incubator and accelerator space for startups and really how to grow uh, those type of companies. And then we'll also have key industry players here that are sponsoring studios or research with the IU faculty. Again, the goal is how do we discover that next innovation, commercialize that product, and train those life science leaders of the future. And in terms of the geographic proximity, the literal connection to the IU Med Center, the connection to downtown Indianapolis and the business community, how important is that piece? It's huge. When you look you know, in a two mile radius around 16 Tech's campus, where you have the largest school of medicine, one of the largest health networks with IU Health, you have the largest pharmaceutical company in the world, but it's not just Indy based. We're looking out to Warsaw with the orthopedic capital of the world. We're looking near the airport with uh, the, the neuroscience mm -hmm. and, and um, targeted medicine approach there, the Fisher's Life Science Cluster. It's gonna be a hub, but there's gonna be a lot of spokes that tie into what industry is looking for and how we look 10 or 15 years yeah, down the yes. road. I know there's gonna be a focus too on impact uh, in the neighborhood and the mm -hmm. neighboring uh, area here as well. Yeah, a very big push of the Lilly Endowment and 16 Tech. How can we be an open door to the neighborhoods and the community to invite them in? How can we do upskilling and credentialing uh, increase access to health care, reduce health inequalities. That's a big focus of the lab as well. All right, I know uh, uh, things are still very fluid, but uh, give us an idea of construction and when you hope to open things. Yeah, the IU lab is open for business now, and so we're working with industry and IU faculty all throughout those schools I mentioned. You have the IU School of Medicine, Luddy School of Informatics, Kelly School of Business, the School of Sciences and others uh, to open up that programming with the incubator and accelerator with industry partners. We're looking at breaking ground this time next year and then an opening in fall of 2027 to have students there housed for classes. David Rosenberg, the president and CEO of IU Lab, thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you, Gary. All right.